hello and welcome to the channel if you haven't done so already make sure to hit that like button and subscribe i really appreciate it so anytime any kind of vehicle comes out and there's a chance just a sliver of chance that it might be a little bit popular or if it's scarce or where the dealerships or should i say the manufacturer doesn't make enough of said vehicles of course the dealerships are going to want to take um <laughs> take advantage and you know jack up the prices request for markups this is completely understandable this is how the industry works unfortunately the only way we can navigate through these craziness is if we don't participate and what do i mean by not participating we should not be buying any brand new vehicles if it's a new model doesn't matter what it is doesn't matter how excited you are to get it just freaking wait okay i'm asking nicely for a friend not that I want that one of these, but um, it, it it just any any time, man, any any time these dealership find a way that they can extract more money out of your pockets and shake you up for all your coins, they will do that. Unfortunately, so. But for me, I like to call them out anytime they do, especially their names. I don't care. I'm gonna put your name on here. If your name's here on the articles, I'm gonna call you out. I don't give a. Mm. Anyways, let us proceed to the article. If um, my mouse will allow me, okay. All right, so here we go. So Kia EV9 marks a marks markups are out of control. Damn, already um, to nearly eighty five thousand dollars. That is why I implore you, if you want the said vehicles, just freaking wait for it. Wait for the market to calm down. This isn't a specialty vehicle. This isn't a vehicle that's going to be made in certain amount of stock this isn't like something uh for an example like a supra you know they're only going to make a certain amount of supras they're only going to make a certain amount of type r's they're only going to make a certain amount of gr corollas i'm just giving you an example of high price vehicles um and that goes for like supercars this isn't it this isn't one of those that they're just going to be making a certain amount of vehicles and then they're done with it no this is not one of those this is going to be a mass-produced vehicle so just give it a little bit more time, especially if you want one. Um, if you are interested in one, there's one dealerships that I know that comes up in the top of my head that didn't charge um, markups on the EV9s, etc. And I think it's uh, Palm Springs Hyundai. They're the only one that I can think of that wasn't doing that wasn't um, taking advantage of people. Uh, I had actually had my reservation with them to get my um my ionic five but i needed one like asap so i paid a little bit of a markup i paid five grand it is what it is i got seventy five hundred dollars back in taxes and fees so it's a wash maybe i made a little bit <laughs> at their woodbridge location a seventy seven thousand one hundred and ten ev9 gt line is listed for eighty three thousand one hundred and five and by the way i think that Hyundai of Palm Spring also has a um, a Kia dealerships because usually there's one in the other. I'm not too sure, but I do know that for the Ionic Seven, I'm sure they're going to be selling those at MSRP for sure. Um, which is listed for eighty three thousand, which is five thousand nine hundred ninety five over MSRP. Not to outdone their owning mills location has seventy five thousand two hundred and thirty five EV nine landed priced at 82,000 the difference is $7,000. So, some dealerships will <laughs> I, I swear to god, those coons, man. They always want to shake you. God. I don't know why who who thought of the name coons. Hey, coons dealerships. Coons hey uh, Coons Hyundai. Hey, welcome to Coons, man. <laughs> but anyway, uh, when it comes to markup, some dealerships, they don't actually like to share that information. They'll just put like the MSRP um, on these websites, whether you go to cars.com, AutoTrader, or any one of these other um, websites. And then once you hit that contact information, once you hit that, and then they'll reply back with their actual price that they're asking. Same thing for the Civic Type R's. If you're requesting any kind of dealerships um, for those high commodity vehicles, they're just going to put the MSRP. It's very rare that they put the whole 
um, amount of money that they're requesting for it. That's including the markup and stuff. And some dealerships will just charge you overpriced accessories, which for me, I didn't mind when I purchased my 2018 Civic Type R. I paid overpriced accessories, but at least, you know, I got something for my money instead of just giving the dealerships like five grand or, or whatever for absolutely nothing. Coons Kia isn't the only bad apple as California Roseville Kia has a 78,925 GT line listed for 82,425, which is not bad, honestly. These markups aren't insane, like how the article kind of portrayed it to be. And and uh, another de the dealer has another model listed for eighty one thousand two thirty five, despite having a sticker price of seventy seven thousand seven hundred thirty five. Uh, so saw noting both vehicles recently saw a four thousand dollar price drop. How generous of them! They probably just dropped the markup a little bit because like um like like what I'm saying, these vehicles aren't that high in demand. So therefore, um, they can only get away with it because it just came out and there's not a lot of them readily available. But once the vehicle starts being readily available for anybody to get it like this, the price is definitely going to plummet like a, like a stone. They're going to be giving you so much incentives, you don't know what the fuck to do with it. Getting back to Virginia, um, Kia has several different EV9s listed for 3750 below msrp including a 60,000 ev9 lightning light light long range going for 57,000. damn <laughs> that's that's a do you see that there isn't bad apples there are some good apples there you just have to look honestly like i said it's not one of this isn't one of those vehicles that are very rare like but anyways let's let's move on i don't want to keep repeating myself over and over and over. Let's move on. Savings are bigger in Minnesota as Cornerstone Kia has an EV9 GT line listed for 4750 below MSRP. Jesus. So you're getting the Cornerstone discount. You get $1,000 off and you get Kia customer cash. I don't know what that is, but, you know, hey, we'll take that discount. Um, and honestly, like, I love the design of the EV9. And I would love to get behind the wheel and try it out. It looks sick. I'm not going to lie. And I'm curious to see what they do with the Ionic 7 whenever that comes out. It's going to be, you know, same size, same battery. Um, it's just <laughs> the difference is the name. But the platform is going to be about the same. But anyway, let me know what you think about this shenanigans that's happening in some of these dealerships. But if you shop around, if you really want it, hey, go, get some at uh, Minnesota and just go fly out there and drive it back. Um, the EV9 is supposed to have a great range, supposedly. But who, who really knows until you, you know, start driving it around and putting some weight and seeing how many people in your vehicle, you know. That's when you're actually going to know, is it cold when it's hot? You know, how long does it really take to charge? And one of the things that I can commend Kia and Hyundai is when it comes to recharging their vehicles, you get that 250 kilowatt an hour. Like it literally will charge like this. And I'm assuming that it's only been improving with these, with every iteration that comes out, they're improving the charging structures and how the vehicle, you know, is optimized. So I, I, I'll, I give them their flowers. I've talked shit. I've talked a lot of shit about Kia and Hyundai's. But when it comes to the EV segment, I feel like they're going into the right direction. But all their other vehicles are still struggling with um, reliability issue and certain issues here and there. And before I remember, um, Kia was just a piece of brand. But now they definitely have overhauled the name of it. They kind of took that dirty name away from it when their design for the Optimum when that first came out. I think that was uh, that was a huge change for them. Doesn't mean the vehicles were good, um, but they were improved comparing to where the brand was before. But anyway, let me know in the comments below as always. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe. Bye!